Math 5 Quarter 3 Week 1 Milk Base Let's learn about Percent and its relationship to fractions, ratios, and decimal numbers Hello kids! It's me, Teacher Frel Don't forget to subscribe Like and share and hit the notification bell for the latest video you can also follow my facebook page teacher frel tv welcome back kids for today's lesson in math 5 we will discuss about percent and its relationship to fractions ratios and decimal numbers after going through this lesson, you are expected to Visualize percent and its relationship to fractions, ratios, and decimal numbers using models Defining percentage, rate, or percent and base And identifying base, percentage, and rate in a problem Observe the illustration below how many small squares are there? Very good! There are 100 squares. How many small squares are shaded? Very good! 7 squares are shaded. The figure is composed of 100 small squares. There are 7 squares that are shaded. If you make it in fraction, it is equivalent to 7 over 100 or we read this as 7 hundreds in ratio it is 7 is to 100 the ratio 7 is to 100 means 7 per hundred another name for per hundred is percent the symbol for percent is percent 7 is to 100 or 7 hundreds is also written as 7 percent we read number 7 with symbol percent as 7 percent percent symbol takes the place of the denominator 100 in a fraction that is why 7 hundreds is equivalent to 7 percent likewise the symbol percent replaces the term 100 in a ratio so, 7 is to 100 is equivalent to 7%. In fraction, 7 hundreds is 7 hundreds as decimal. So, 7% is also 7 hundreds. So, percent is also related to fractions, ratios, and decimal numbers using models like this. In percent, it is written as 7%. Or we read this as 7%. In fraction, it is written as 7 hundreds. It is read as 7 hundreds. In ratio, it is written as 7 is to 100. Or it is read as 7 is to 100. And in decimal, it is written as 7 hundreds. Or read as 7 hundreds. Let us try visualizing percent in solving word problem. Veronica and Ron earn 100 pesos for selling face masks. They gave their mother 80 pesos and put 20 pesos in their coin bank. What percent of their earnings did they give to their mother? What percent did they have? So let us visualizing this illustration. There are 100 parts in all. According to the illustration, the shaded part is 80 out of 100 parts. Write the number 80 and the symbol percent and read as 80%. The unshaded part is 20 out of 100 parts. We write number 20 and the symbol percent and we read as 20%. What is percent? Percent is a special ratio that compares a certain number to 100. 
It is a ratio whose meaning is similar to fraction with a denominator of 100. Percent means hundreds, so it can be written as decimal. And a decimal in hundreds can be expressed as percent. A short way to change a fraction with a denominator of 100 into decimal is to write the numerator and put the decimal point two places from the right. Write zeros. Percent is to write the numerator, which is the number 7, together with the percent sign. This time, you will know how to define percentage, rate or percent, and base. Because all of us likes to eat fruits, and these are needed by our body to be able for us to stay healthy and fit. So I have here a problem. In the class of Miss May, she divided her students into 8 groups. She asked the groups to select a leader. Among the fruits presented, two groups chose papaya as their favorite fruit. Let us analyze the problem so that we will clearly find out the base, rate, and percentage in a given problem. Let us give the ratio of the total number of groups to the number of groups who chose papaya. So the ratio is 8 is to 2. Let us write the given ratio into fraction, 8 to 2. Let us convert the given ratio and fraction into percent. 2 divided by 8 equals 0 0.25 or we read as 25 hundreds. Change it into percent 25%. We can write 25% of 8 is 2. We deal 3 elements, the rate, base, and percentage. 25% of 8 equals 2. 25% is the rate. 8 is the base, and 2 is the percentage. The relationship among the three is rate times base equals percentage, or percentage equals rate times base. 25% is the rate. It is given as percent. It can be expressed as ratio of fraction. 8 is called the base. It is a whole number of which you take the percent. And 2 is called the percentage, meaning the part of the whole. It is a resulting fractional part of the base. After learning the definition of base, rate, and percent, it will be very easy for us to identify the base, rate, and percentage in a given problem. Why is it important to know how to identify the base, rate, and percentage in a problem? Because we all know that we are facing and encountering different mathematical real-life situations. It is very important to know and to identify these three so you will know when and how to apply it. For our first activity, let us do learning task 1. Let us think of the place where we encounter percent. Before the pandemic, I know there were times that you joined your mother, sister, or you went with the family in the mall or department stores. And I know as you move around the store, you were able to see some items which are on sale. You were able to see items with percentage sign as shown on the example below. This is an example. T-shirt made of 50% cotton, 50% polyester. So what does percent means? Very good! 50% cotton and 50% polyester is equivalent to 100%. It means this shirt is made of cotton and polyester. Now let's move to learning task 2. Using pictures, give the ratio of the shaded parts to the whole part. Then change them to fractions, decimal, and percent. Here are the three pictures. In the first picture, the ratio is 84 is to 100. 84 is shaded part out of 100. In fraction, it is 84 hundreds. In decimal, it is 84 hundreds. 
and in percent, it is 84%. In the second picture, the ratio is 46 is to 100. 46 squares are shaded out of 100. In fraction, it is 46 hundreds. In decimal, it is 46 hundreds. And in percent, it is 46 percent. And for the third picture, the ratio is 31 is to 100. 31 are shaded out of 100. In fraction, it is 31 hundreds. In decimal, it is 31 hundreds. And in percent, it is 31 percent. Remember that the fraction and decimal reads as hundreds. And now, let's move to learning task 3. Let us have another problem. Fill in the blanks with the correct word or phrase to complete the sentence. Here is the problem. 75% of the 40 pupils of Mrs. Santiago like mathematics. 30 pupils are math lovers. So we say that 75% of Mrs. Santiago are math lovers. In the given problem, 40 is our base because it represents the... What is the answer? Correct! 40 represents the whole class. 75% is the rate because it is the ratio between the... What is the answer? Very good! It is the ratio between the... 30 math lovers and the... 40 pupils. So 30 pupils is the percentage because it is a part of the... 40 pupils meaning 30 pupils are math lovers out of 40 pupils now let's move to learning task 4 let us continue identifying the base rate and percentage in the given problem write in the proper table the base rate and percentage of the given problem number one there are 36 fruits in a basket 18 of them are mangoes. 50% of them are mangoes. So the base is 36 fruits in a basket. The rate is 50% and the percentage is 18. Number 2, Nico deposited 500 pesos in the bank at 9% interest a year. He earns 45 pesos in a year. So the base in this problem is... 500 pesos. The rate is 9% and the percentage is 45 pesos. Number 3. In a test, Dominique got 90% of the questions correctly. From a 20-item test, he answered 18 questions correctly. So the base in this problem is 20. The rate is 90%. And the percentage is 18. Number 4. Adele has 120 pesos remaining of her weekly allowance. It is 40% of the 300 pesos allowance she received this week. So the base in this problem is 300 pesos. The rate is 40%. And the percentage is 120 pesos. And for number 5, in every 7 bananas, there are 3 mangoes. 70% of the fruits are bananas. So the base in this problem, when you add 7 bananas plus 3 mangoes equals 10. So the base is 10. The rate is 70%. And the percentage is 7. Because 70% of the fruits are bananas. So that is the percentage, 7. Learning Task 5 Collecting Data, Making Tables Carlo interviewed 100 of his friends on their most viewed TV program. The table below shows the numbers of interviewees who chose any of the four programs. What will you do is to express the value in fraction, decimals, percent, and ratio form. In the first column, we have TV programs which are Starstruck, It Bulaga, MPK, KMJS, and The Total. So in the second column, we have Number of Friends. 
Starstruck, 16. It Bulaga, 35. MPK, 30. KMJS, 90. For the total of 100, we will write the fraction, decimal, percent, and ratio of the following programs. Starstruck, number of friends, 16. In fraction, it is 16 hundreds. Decimals, 16 hundreds. Percent, 16 percent. Ratio, 16 is to 100. Next, it bulaga, number of friends, 35. In fraction, it is 35 hundreds. Decimal, it is 35 hundreds. Percent, 35 percent. Ratio, 35 is to 100. MPK, number of friends, 30. In fraction, it is 30 hundreds. Decimal, 30 hundreds. Percent, 30 percent. Ratio, 30 is to 100. KMJS, number of friends, 19. Fraction, 19 hundreds. Decimal, 19 hundreds. Percent, 19 percent. Ratio, 19 is to 100. And the total is 100. Let us write the total in fractions. It is 100 over 100. In decimal, it is equivalent to 1. In percent, it is 100%. And in ratio, it is 100 is to 100. For learning task 6, read the problem carefully. Identify the rate, base, and the percentage in the following problem. Do not solve the problem. Put N in the missing element. Number 1. Joshua has 5% commission rate on all his sales. If he sells 40,000 worth of merchandise in one month, how much will he earn? So the rate in this problem is 5%. The base is 40,000 pesos. The missing element is the percentage. Number 2. 22% of Shirley's monthly salary is deducted for withholding. If those deductions total 209 pesos, what is her salary? The rate in this problem is 22%. The percentage is 209 pesos. So the missing element is the base. And number 3. In a chemistry class of 30 students, Five receive a grade of A. What percent of the students receive A's? The percentage in this problem is 5. The base is 30. So the missing element is the rate. For assimilation, study the 100 counting number chart and answer the following questions. Here is the chart. Number 1. How many counting number are there? What percent shows the 100 numbers from the chart? The counting number is 100 and the percent is 100%. Number 2. What part of the chart are even numbers? Odd numbers. What percent of even and odd numbers are present in the chart? The even numbers that is present in the chart is 50%. And the odd number that is present in the chart is also 50%. Number 3. How many percent are the following? Letter A. Multiples of 10, 5, and 3. The multiples of 10 is 10%. As what you see in the chart. The multiples of 5 is 20%. As what you see in the chart. If you skip count by 5, there are 20 out of 100. And the multiples of 3 is 33%. For letter B, the prime number is 25%. And for letter C, composite numbers, 74%. Read the problem carefully, then answer the questions that follow. Number 1. We saw 18 big fish in a pond. 50% of them were very colorful. There are 9 colorful fishes. The base in the problem is 
18. 18 big fish in a pond. Number 2. Mr. Gonzalez received the amount of 10,000 pesos after selling a computer set cost 50,000 pesos for he has given a 20% commission. What is the rate in the problem? So the rate in the problem is 20%. And number 3. In our class, there are 30 boys. 6 out of 30 are working students. It is 20% of the total number of boys in our class. The percentage in the problem is 6. 6 working students out of 30 boys. For the assessment, letter A, write the name for each shaded part as fraction, ratio, percent, and decimal. In picture 1, the ratio is 78 is to 100. Fraction, 78 hundreds. Decimal, 78 hundreds. Percent, 78 percent. Second picture, ratio, 47 is to 100. Fraction, 47 hundreds. Decimal, 47 hundreds. Percent, 47 percent. Third picture, ratio, 36 is to 100. Fraction, 36 hundreds. Decimal, 36 hundreds. Percent, 36 percent. For assessment B, complete the table below using the given data. Number 1, the set of even numbers from 1 to 20 is, in ratio, from 1 to 20, there are 10 even numbers. So 10 is to 20 is the ratio. The fraction is 10 to 20 or in lowest term, 1 half. The percent is 50% because half of 20 are even numbers. And the decimal is 50 hundreds. Number 2, the set of odd numbers from 1 to 20 is... 10. 10 is to 20. There are 10 odd numbers from 1 to 20. The fraction is 10 to 20. And the lowest term is 1 half. The percent is 50% and the decimal is 50 hundreds. For number 3, the set of composite numbers from 1 to 20 is... The set of composite numbers are 11. So, there are 11 composite numbers out of 20. So, the ratio is 11 is to 20. The fraction is 11 to 20. The percent for this is 55% and the decimal is 55 hundreds. And for number 4, the set of prime numbers from 1 to 20 are 8. There are 8 prime numbers out of 20. So, the ratio is 8 is to 20. The fraction is 8 to 20. The percent is 40%. So in decimal, this is 40 hundreds. For assessment C, which statement describes the given element? Number 1, rate. Letter A, it gives the total of the whole. Letter B, it always has the percent sign. And C, it gives part of the whole. The correct answer is letter B. It always has the percent sign. Number 2, percentage. Letter A, it names part of the whole. B, it always written with the percent sign. And C, it represents the total number of the whole. So the correct answer is letter A. It names part of the whole. And for number 3, base, it is the whole from which you take a portion. Letter B, it is a part of portion of the whole. And C, it is term as percent. The correct answer is letter A, it is the whole from which you take a portion. And for assessment D, identify the base, rate, and percentage in the problems below. Number 1, the sale price of a book is 300 pesos. Its original price is 400 with 25% discount. The base is 400 which is the original price. 
the rate is 25% discount and the percentage is 300 pesos. Number 2. In our barangay, 40 families are engaged in fishing. If there are 160 families in our barangay, 25% of the families in the barangay are engaged in fishing. So the base is 160 because the total family in the barangay is 160. The rate is 25% and the percentage is 40 because there are only 40 families out of 160 who are engaged in fishing. Number 3. There are 60 members in our school band. 15% of them are from our class. 9 band members come from our class. The base is 60 because there are 60 members in school band. The rate is 15% and the percentage is 9. And for the reflection, write your personal insights about the lesson using the prompts below. I understand that. I realize that. I need to learn more about. So write your own personal insights. So kids, do you understand our lesson today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!